Hello and welcome to Bay Area Focus. I'm your host, Ann Makovic, in for Michelle Griego. We have a whole new look to the show and a great one in store today from senior care to poetry and a charity event you are not going to want to miss. But first, 183 films, 37 documentaries, some of the most talented filmmakers from 45 countries will be showcasing their work at this year's San Francisco International Film Festival. Here to tell us about this year's films is the executive director of SF Film, Noah Cohen. Welcome to Bay Area Focus. Thanks for having me back. Thanks for being here. This film festival has been running for more than six decades. What is special about this year? It's funny, I think after our 60th anniversary last year, we were like, let's really focus on what the Bay Area audiences are bringing to film, not just necessarily what we're bringing back. So you're gonna see lots of uh, filmmakers who come from this area, a lot of like movie stars and writers and other people, kind of thought leaders out in the world who really reflect what the Bay Area is and are really popular here. Yeah, you talked a little bit about uh, the reflection of Bay Area values. What are you speaking of? Yeah, it's things like inclusion and diversity, but like also a lot of kick-ass women. Like you're going to see people like Joan Jett and Charlize Theron on our red carpets this year. Silas Howard is the director of our opening film, A Kid Like Jake, is a trans man who's like famous for directing Transparent and This Is Us episodes. It's kind of like, just feels like who we are. Now, tell us about some of the featured films this year. You said one that is very Bay Area centric. Don't worry. Wait, it's a long title. Don't worry what? <laughs> Don't worry. He won't get far on foot is the new film from Gus Van Zant, And it feels very much like it could be said here. It's actually set in Portland. I know, which is sort of like a cousin of ours, um, but it's great. It's Joaquin Phoenix and Jonah Hill. It's kind of this very oddball, offbeat buddy movie made by Gus Van Zant, the director of Milk, of course, Harvey Milk, big San Francisco icon. This is about this like a reverend cartoonist in a wheelchair who kind of just like makes everyone else's life hell. And Jonah Hill kind of is the uh, kind of flamboyant director of a AA group, um, of course, everyone just falls off the wagon all the time. <laughs> yeah, that does tend to happen. <laughs> Uh, the another, another one to talk about is Sorry to Bother You. Yeah, that is in a major Bay Area movie. So this one began in January at the Sundance Film Festival. Uh, Boots Riley, who's a really important musician here, very political guy, um, has made this movie. It, uh, people don't know how to classify it or talk about it, but what they do know is it features amazing performances from people like Army, Army Hammer, who was in uh, Call Me By Your Name, the Oscar-nominated, Oscar-winning film from, from this past year, Te the amazing Tessa Thompson, and, and uh, Terry Crews, he's in Brooklyn. 911 is actually going to be joining us uh, for the screening. He's great in the movie. And Boots is spectacular. Because this is such a special Bay Area film, we're actually going to do it as our centerpiece, both at the Castro in San Francisco and at the Grand Lake in Oakland. So um, it's going to be this really lovely kind of cross Bay vibes experience. Oh, that's very cool. So you can just pick which side of the bridge you want to party on. Exactly. Well, the party's in Oakland, so okay. take the bar over. <laughs> All right, very good. Uh, the Year of the Woman we were talking about, and RGB is going to be a big film. I mean, Ruth Bader Ginsburg is just this superstar, right? And so this movie is this stand up and shout and cheer. We're going to be filling the Castro with a lot of people who really believe that she is actually kind of the boss of us all these days. And um, we're, um, we're going to have a bunch of special guests there. I can't actually reveal what it's all going to look like, but um, there's a lot of people who want to turn out to support her and what she stands for. Okay, and the film Godard. Yeah, Godard Forever is this like fun, irreverent. This is one really for the cinephiles. Jean-Luc Godard was this sort of famous French New Wave filmmaker. This movie kind of takes him down a peg. It's by the guy who directed The Artist, which won a bunch of Oscars a few years ago. Um, and he's coming, that actually wrote, very well-known director. Um, the film is so fun and really takes you back to Paris in the 1960s in this really kind of fun and comedic and delightful way. That sounds wonderful. All right, and Charlize Theron, is, you mentioned her, she's going to actually be here. She's a big movie star. So she's great, and she's uh, she's going to be here. She's our special tribute this year. It's on the Sunday, the 8th. And um, she's, an, she's an amazing lady. And really, again, kind of really reflects what we think the Bay Area is all about. I mean, she's super ferocious. You've seen Atomic Blonde and Mad Max. And in this year of Me Too and, you know, really trying to champion and put women in the forefront, we feel like she's the kind of actress that sort of represents kind of where we want to go and where we want to take this conversation. And what are some of the other collaborations that the film festival has been engaging in from, from Human Rights Watch to local restaurateurs? Absolutely. Well, we love food and we love the kind of social action here in the Bay Area. So there's films that actually will reflect those. And if you go to sffilm.org, you'll actually sort of see them really special and spotlighted. So if you actually have a kind of interest in these areas, we can kind of like match you. It's almost like a dating service with like the thing that really is you're passionate about the most. But the one I'd really
really like to point out is that we're very well known for music and film. And so we actually commission bands to actually come and special performances around film. And so we have great ones this year. The, probably the most prominent we've ever done is this new kind of weird live documentary which matches the Kronos Quartet, the incredible Bay Area based classical music group with Sam Green who's this like kind of cool, kind of hip guy who does these sort of live readings and live documentaries along with a documentary he's already made about them. But Kronos is going to be there on stage playing their kind of greatest hits, with all the Philip Glass music, all that stuff, along with um, Sam actually doing a live narration. So it's kind of like an interactive, like conversational show with a film going on at the same time. Oh my gosh. And then more traditionally, we have Blonde Redhead, the sort of great cult band from the 90s who's going to be playing to a kind of obscure silent film, but a really beautiful one. And I think people are going to love watching the interaction of that, you know, super cool band with what's going to be happening in the, in the, on the movie screen behind yeah. them. All of these happen at the Castro, which of course is the greatest place to see a movie in America. So, um, you know, check that out for sure. All right, sure. that sounds wonderful. Noah Cohen, thanks for all of that. And remember, if Still you want to check out the San Francisco International Film Festival, it starts on April 4th, runs through the 17th. And the opening night gala is April 4th at the Castro Theater. And the special tribute to Charlize Theron is on Sunday the 8th. For more information, go to sffilm.org. Coming up, more options for seniors who want to be independent and stay in their own homes when Bay Area Focus returns after this.